Okay, Bismillah. Okay, welcome back. We're looking at area of circles today. So let's have a quick go on this. At area of circles, we need to be familiar with some basic formula. Formulae. Right. We're looking at the clip 71 of the Grady e Maths Watch work. I'm going to change some of the numbers here and there so we maintain the integrity of the original questions that we're using for homework. So let's have a look what the formulas are that connect circles with area and perimeter circumference, for example. Right, let's have a look. So the area of a circle is equal to pi time by the radius squared. We don't write as pi r squared, but I'll put the time in there for emphasis. Area equals pi r squared. That is the area of a circle. If you want to work at the circumference of the circle, So the circumference is equal to what? Circumference is equal to pi times by the diameter. <coughs> or we can say that the circumference is also equal to 2 times by the pi times by the radius. So that's its equivalent. Okay. Now, we need to think about our basic parts of the circle. Okay, right. Let's have a look at these measurements. Now, the distance around the outside of the shape is the circumference. So, if you go all the way around the outside, that will give us our circumference. Okay. Now the pink line there, what do we call the pink line? The pink line is called our diameter. Okay, and what's the yellow line called? You know what the yellow line is called? The yellow line is called our radius. And that here, this black dot, is the center of the circle. So the diameter is the distance from one end of the circle to the other end of the circle going through the central point. The radius is the distance from the center to the outside, only half of the, taking half the circle. So them two are related as well. So diameter is the pink line, radius is the other, and the disorder around is called the circumference. Now let's write down some formulas to connect with those. So let's have a look. So we can say that the diameter is equal to double of the radius, or we can say that the radius is equal to half the diameter. So that will give us two formulas there. Okay. 
Okay, done. That's one formula. <coughs> That's another formula there. Here's the original e formula. And here that's the compound formulas. Oops. Okay now. What to, what can we say about the so we say the diameter, radius, and circumference are all? What are they? So we can say that the diameter, that the radius, and the circumference are all what? What we count them as? They are all. Length. So that means is that the unit so the unit will be all in what? So we measure them in millimeters, centimeters meters, etc, etc, etc. But whereas area, area is always measured in, area is always measured in square units. So for example, it would be millimeters, oops, millimeters squared, centimeters squared, meters squared, etc. Okay? So diameter, radius, circumference, all of these are lengths, whereas area is an area which is square units. Okay, so that's our basics in terms of the ground rules of the formulas that we're going to be using. Now, I'm going to clear this page because we're going to look at some of those questions and see how we're going to do some of these questions. Ready? Okay. Right, let's give you some questions. Let's draw some circles. <coughs> okay, circle number one. Circle number two. And Number three. So the number four. So there's the number one. Okay, now we need to do another circle. So that will do for a lot. Okay. I'm going to give you some measurements and then I'll... Uh-huh. 
Alright. Okay, here we go. A little few extra dots here and there. But here's our basic circle exercise. Let's go back to the brush. Okay, right. So what do we have? This would be okay. The first measure we'll be told here, they're giving us three centimeters. I'm just gonna change it to a four centimeters. And first there's the dot in the middle, center. For question one, see they gave us eight centimeters, that's going to the center. I'm gonna say to you that goes to the center, and that one is um, 12 centimeters or 12 millimeters. Okay. Now the next question on the bottom, we have two radiuses. We have a circle within a circle. I'm sorry, mine look a bit more like eggs. They're supposed to be circles, so uh, please forgive me on my artwork. Okay, the first radius here is given as the first radius here will be given as five five centimeters, and the second one will be given as seven centimeters. Hope you can see that. Can you see those numbers on there? Okay, so we're going to work at the area, perimeter, circumference. So perimeter and circumference, same thing for these shapes. So let's have a look how would we do that. So let's start first of all here with this first circle, question number one. Oh, that pen is a bit too thin. Question number one. If we look at the area of this particular circle, what do we start with? We start with area equals pi, time by the radius squared, we can, we can also write as pi r squared. Now, what is the value of pi? Normally pi is given as, the give you as value 3.142, for example, to do three decimal places, time by the radius squared. What is the radius in this question? I mean, what's the radius? The radius is 4. So this is how you work at the area. And then we launch our calculator. So, we type in now in the calculator three points. This calculator over here, grab one if you haven't got one yourself. Type in 3.142, multiply that by 4 squared, equals 50.272. Now, we need to get the answers to a reasonable degree of accuracy. Now, I would say for this particular example, if they haven't told you to give it to one or two decimal places, I would say give it to one dp. So to do it to one dp, here's one dp. We look at the side there, which is the seven. Because it's five or more, you add one. So I would say my final answer is 50.3 centimeters squared is equal to the area of this shape. And we said earlier that the radius is question of equal to, what was it? Four centimeters. If the radius is four, what does that make the diameter then? The diameter is always double the radius. So that means two times by four will give you eight. So we know, uh, we know four, so we can easily look at the diameter. We've now worked at the area with the right units, centimeters squared. What have we got left to work out? We've got left to work out is the circumference. Now the circumference is equal to pi time by the diameter. You know what the diameter is? Yes, what is the diameter? The diameter is, what is it? 8. So now we jump on the calculator again. I mean, I'm not literally even jump on the calculator because you'll break it. Uh, 3.142 times by 8, 25.136. And if you round that off to 
one less than one place. So we'll stop there. Because it's number three is less than five, you have to leave the one alone. It's 25.1 centimeters. So we worked out as much as we can from that particular question. Now, let's have a look at the next question. Are you happy? And the next question, we're still going to use the same formula. We're still going to start with area is equal to pi time by r squared. Okay, now, in the formula, is tells us r squared. Now, what, what, what have they given us in the diagram? They haven't given us r squared. They've given us what? This measurement here is not the radius. They've given us the, what have they given us? The diameter. So the diameter is 12, then if you divide the diameter by 2, that will give you a radius. So what's 12 divided by 2, first of all? So the diameter is equal to 12, and if you do diameter divided by 2, that will give you the radius, which is equal to... So what's the radius equal to then? Because you can't use the diameter into the area formula, can you? Because the area formula relies on the radius so if they give you the diameter, we simply half the diameter and put it in there. So we now can say area is equal to confidently 3.142 multiplied by 6 squared and not 12 squared. So we pop that into the calculator. Now if they give you, uh, they give you the value for pi, use their value, because if you use the value for pi in the calculator, that can be a slightly different answer because that's because it hasn't been rounded. No, that's all squared. Okay. One, two, one. Okay, is that what we get? Now one one three point one two, if we round off to one decimal place, will give us what? One one three point one. So we in a sense we lose this over to here. And that will be our final answer. 113.1 centimeters squared. So we worked out the radius first, and then we worked out the area. We never put the diameter into our area formula. Now, so we already know that we know the radius, we know the diameter, we know the area. What's left for us to work out? What's left? Circumference. Circumference equals pi time by the diameter. Okay. So you're going to carry on this way as well. So pi is equal to 3.142. And this. Give us some more space. 3.142 time by 12. Okay. So you have to put that into your calculator and give us an answer. No, because it's a circumference, it will have no square in it because when you square something, it, it starts to become area. So it's just pi time by d flat, no, no square. And that will give us an answer 3.142 time by 12 will give us an answer of 37.704, which round off to one decimal place will give you 37. Point, where's it gone? This is good. 37.7 centimeters only to one dp time there as well. Okay, that's done. Okay, last but not least question. Now what we need to work out here in this next question, we need to work out... Oops. Okay, we need to work out the shaded area. So the area between these two circles. Okay, so this is like a composite shape in a sense. Well, not composite, it's like a border question. Now, if I want to work out the area of the border, uh, this border here, give me an idea. So the area of this border part here, this, yeah, area of the border is equal to what? So I'm trying to work out the area of the gray part. Not the numbers, give me an idea. So, I want to work out the area between two circles, one's inside, one's outside, I want to work out the place. 
how, just explain me in words what would be your idea. So the area of the border would be equal to the area of the outside circle minus the area of the inside circle. Okay? So now it's going to so what's the, what is the outside circle the formula? The formula is equal to pi time by r squared. What's the formula the inside circle? Pi time by r squared. That's i, uh, that's o for outside, i for inside. Now let's put the values in there. So it's 3.142 time by, what's the outside uh, radius? Outside radius is equal to 7. What's the inside radius? 5. So we pop that into the formula. So we have 3.142, oops, 3.142 times by 7 squared, take away 3.142 times by 5 squared, equal to 75.408. If you write it off to one decimal place, it will give us an answer of 75.4 centimeters squared on dp is the area of the gray shaded bar. So here we're looking at the situation. So that one here is 1 dp. Uh, this one here is also 1 dp. That's 1 dp. And that's 1 dp. I'll be happy with that. Yeah, that's really the end of our session today. And I'm going to use some questions on, that, on those circle questions. And then we're going to come back and do some more of the composite ones as well. Okay, we're going to stop that here.